Hi, Abhishek. Hi, Pala. Good evening. Good evening. Very good evening. Uh, you both can audible? hear me. It's my first live session, so <laughs> yes, I'm audible. Yes, I, I can. Audible? I can. I can. Yes, yes, you are. I can definitely hear you. All right. Great. So, some people are joining. We can start in maybe another minute or so, as more and more people are joining. So, you are based out of Delhi, or I'm based out of Punjab. There is no Punjab. Okay, great. Yeah. How, how is the weather there? Here we are having uh, rain. It's raining since yesterday. Uh, so here the condition seems like it will rain, but then uh, okay. it's bright, sunny, and then oh, wonderful! Like, yeah. So that's, since that's morning good. we are waiting for rain, but I don't think so. It'll rain mm -hmm. as of now. All right. For Delhi, it's been a rainy weekend actually. Not at all suitable okay. to actually go out despite this being a weekend. But yeah, it's anyway the <laughs> onset of winter, and we're likely to see Correct. such weather now. Yes. That's great. So I think uh, yeah, we we can definitely start as more and more people are joining. So. Uh, Hello and welcome once again to Kitabi Baate. I'm Abhishek, also known as Books Wale Bhaiya, and my guest today is Palak Gogia. She's an author, and she has recently got her first book of poems published, Somewhere Between Hope and Despair. So uh, this is her first book of uh, poems, and yeah, uh, as as I'm book reviewer, I went through the book, and I really loved her collection, her way of uh, you know writing. It's a book of 21 poems, and I strongly you know. Recommend everyone to read this book. But uh, so coming about, uh, we'll talk about the book. But Palak, before we start, a brief introduction of yours. So Palak Bogia is an IT expert by profession and a writer by choice. So I think this this is an important point, and we will definitely discuss that what you are by profession and what one is by choice. So her stint at writing randomly popped up from a debacle of too much of words and too less of ears to hear. For her writing, initially began as an outcome of her mind's junkyard. So, so Palak, this is about a professional profile. You are an IT expert, and you know writing is something you uh, you like doing. So, more of you can say a professional profile. So, but how would you, you know, describe yourself in in your own words? Ah, uh, yeah, sure, sure, sure. First of all, I would like to thank you a lot for giving me this platform. All my life, you know, we have, been, I have been particularly, you know. Trying or practicing to give you an interview, probably while taking a, sh a hot shower or you know after seeing some of our programs. So all those yeah. thoughts come have been coming to me, and yeah. I I used to practice, you know, just because something would come happen in future. And luckily, right. or let's say accidentally, this is something uh, that I'm going to do for the very first time. Uh, yeah. Thanks for this opportunity, first of all. So no uh, all right. So coming to what uh, who I am and. Uh, how i have been uh, what is my journey i will just simply put in put it like this i uh, i am someone who will uh, who loves to talk a lot i give give me any topic about something i will if i know about it i will yeah. express it with my utter sincerity even if i do not know i'll try to make some right. things up i'll try i'll try to you know i'll try to have a conversation with people so uh, funny and a little bit serious of a person so that is who i am recently when i started it's not recently i like i would say probably 5 years or maybe 7 years uh, before i i just accidentally landed up into writing as a, a hobby okay. and then from there it was some kind of blog content writing and many 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 other things i just found myself as a professional writer when my friend Uh, asked me basically they motivated me a lot to come as a professional writer and that is when i thought of writing a book writing right. a book actually when we talk about writing a book it it was nothing planned i didn't have a story in hand or i didn't think that i'll write something about you know no, non fiction was never my genre never but uh, somehow right. this uh, book leaf publishing they had brought this thing up so it was like 21 poems in 21 days and just randomly i took uh, part in this particular uh, competition and 21 days later i was told that it is selected and that is okay. how i mean then rest is history so i was never 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 of the mindset that first book that i will be going to write will be a collection of poems poem is not even yeah. my forte to be very honest but somehow right. uh, whenever i want to try and you know 
I don't want to put in a lot of effort. Poems come to me naturally. That's what I have felt. I initially started writing in Hindi, but somehow, or let's say, uh, the audience that uh, I have, they are basically who read English a lot. That's that's what I feel. I might be wrong as well, but that is what I feel. So English came. English writing came to me like uh, most of my writing that I write. is in english and that is right. how the book came into being yeah so so as you said it's like due to book leaf publishing mm-hmm. it happened so can we say that did poetry poetry chose you instead of you choosing poetry when it comes to your <laughs> first book absolutely absolutely because whenever i thought that i will be writing a book it always yeah. had to be fiction i used to think of scenarios even now like i have many small small stories that i have in mind i might have compiled them also i might have written them also but i have never compiled them or i have never thought that i would give them a shape that it is published as a book so when book leak publishing gave this opportunity i was i didn't even think you know generally people plan on marketing on uh, how to you know uh, they have book review sessions and they have book release sessions so there are many things which i got to know now after publishing first book so i had nothing of that in mind in fact to be very honest except instagram or facebook or linkedin i don't even know like what particular platform is uh, required to publicize your book or marketize right. your book so i i didn't have anything in mind but right. somehow things happened and it's not e- it was not even a month it was just 21 days and on the 22nd day i was or 23rd day i was told that it is published and the results were out that's that's great so this being your first yeah. book and it usually happens when someone writes fiction mm-hmm. or poetry it is said it is believed that your first book is typically a you know an expression of yourself maybe your emotions your feelings uh, any event of your life something of that sort does find an expression in your writing as well and if i see the preface wherein you have mentioned that uh, this book illustrates how sentiments have always been an array of human competencies to explore and reciprocate effectively it explores how the author tries to be a master and yet ends up being a slave of all emotions and thoughts so talk about emotions and thoughts just like other writers would you say that this book in a way is in some way or the other a reflection of your life or or your emotions at least maybe a part of it if not a, really. no 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 it's not even a part of it it's, it's exactly what i have i i keep thinking especially i i like to mention here uh lockdown i told you i'm an it professional so somehow i do not get time or sometimes like there is ample amount of time depending on the work that i do but in lockdown yeah. there was first of all i mean uh, the environment around or the atmosphere around gave me so many examples on daily basis uh, about life about how one's perspective changes parents are around you you do not meet uh, get to meet your friends very often so there was the setup itself was something that was bringing day to day examples or let's say day to day events in front of me which led me to thinking to deep thinking and once you start thinking there is no going back so there are thoughts and thoughts that keep running so uh, writing for me has always been my respite and these poems came to me or right. these po- the episodes that i have you know uh, somewhere in between the poems i've mentioned a few things so these are something that are personal to me i have i, I generally think about it and uh, while writing also i didn't intend to think that this is the topic i would just pick up an episode the thoughts behind it right. or something what i could have thought in this particular way or what uh the person who's reading would expect me so all those it is amalgamation of all the things that keep happening around me and i somehow just gave a thought to it so i initially wrote it i was not intending to write as such poems i just wanted to put out my thoughts and then since it was a competition and since i had to quarterly write poems so i had to shape in that way and then poems came into picture Good. And as you have been writing since uh, several years as you said so on what topics did you Uh, used to write, as you said, you used to write blogs and everything. So, any specific yeah. topics you chose to write, or it was just random? Yeah, well, that's a very interesting topic. And generally, people who know that I have written a novel keep asking me, like, what uh, what are the topics, or what what is something as you can say that you write about it. So, I will have a very weird answer. It's not something the topics that I choose, whatever. I see. I'm passionate about uh, writing uh, and writing something from my heart. So whatever, right. whatever I am 
you're emotionally touched about i'll write about that so it can be anything it could be about a social okay. war it could be about a social setting it could be about gender biasness religious biasness anything that comes right. to mind uh, as simple as something if i say a movie i just about the character characters or something a story which is out of the box or it could be very very generic so whatever touches okay. me and i feel a little passionate about i will pick up my pen not even pen these days we are you know introduced to laptops and of course so i'll just pick up my laptop i'll write down something i'll give it a shape i'll see i'll proofread it and then that's that's it i i have my page also in instagram as right. a writer and what yeah. i'll just whatever it comes to my mind i try to explore different things initially it was quotes then it came as hindi poems then it came as hindi quotes then i started writing about a few stories small fictional i mean fictional stories and then something non fiction then again i turned to maybe movies then poem so it all keeps i keep juggling between the topics that mm-hmm. come to me so it's all and, it's all right uh, and, yeah it's all what subject. have you been what have you been reading since childhood any particular genre or author or anything you may say had an influence you know on your writing who influenced your thoughts about writing or anything any particular authors books which you liked so it's it's not like uh, that i have been an avid reader from childhood no i i wasn't i mm-hmm. was uh, in my curriculum as well we were even asked to pick up a book every friday and uh, you know our principal uh, she ensured that one should go to the library pick up a book write a yeah. summary submit it every every week so that was a hassle for me and i used to hate it because our syllabus itself was too much and yes. i did not i didn't like reading as such at that point of time i didn't read novels but it was always those short stories in newspapers or some uh, characters that used to be uh, you know in newspapers short columns were there so that was i then i initiated reading and my mother was into punjabi language and then she introduced me to these amrita pritam poems and mm. shiv kumar batalvi was yeah. a person uh i mean that also was not not something that i intentionally uh, chose it was something that was given to me and i mostly read it because someone had asked me forced me to read it but when i joined college so that time you know it is it's it's basically a thing that to brag about oh yeah i read novels so chetan bhagat was one of those you know ve- right. uh, those novels or those others one starts with and that is right. that is how my journey also began i started with these novels but then uh like once you go into these you start to understand that this is something uh, like what indian children or what indian people have you know readily access to and then yes. later on you realize that there are so many novels so many others around you you just need to pick up a any good book you just you can google it 10 most books by the english right. literature swedish literature and that's that's how i began so um, recently quite not recently i came across halid hasani's novels so it was uh, the kite runner the first one that okay. i picked up and it was so good i i can't imagine i, I can't uh, imagine how a person can go back and forth past and present and that yeah. is how i mean that was the very first novel which i literally maybe maybe 10 days or so i uh, and i saw i picked up reading and that is how i one after one i started reading his novels there are three novels i guess what he yes. has released yes and then amish tripathi was also so that was recommended to me by someone because it's it has a religious touch to it and yes. i i i mean like i generally keep finding something which which i can relate to so amish tripathi is i just read part 1 and 2 i mean i know there is part 4 or 5 which is yes. coming out we will see i yeah, i think but that. one of the book recently released on Lung, war of lanka yeah correct correct yeah. yeah so someone mentioned it to me So right. I was like I I have just read two I did not and then after that even John Boyne I like his novels so I one of my friend had suggested the boy in striped pajamas and mm-hmm. I read the uh, novel and then after that I I might have seen the movie I did not like the movie at all so that was I mean that is that was the period when I had just joined the my first IT company so I I mean luckily I used to have so much of time. and that is when yeah. i read most of my very good novels so it, there was one other novel everything that happens for a reason that also right. from john boy and i had read so the other one um, it was a ladder to the sky that also was very good that i had read and uh, recently i have been reading a little non fictional so power of atomic mm-hmm. habits and the one that i'm reading oh, right okay. now is uh, a joseph Mur- murphy's novel which is the power of subconscious mind and i don't know very recently maybe it is due to because 
आई हैव रेड दोज पोइम्स और आई हैव रिटन दोज पोइम्स मे बी बिकॉज ऑफ दैट और मे बी लाइक आई एम ट्राइंग टू अंडरस्टैंड वॉट नॉन फिक्शन इज सो आई एम मोर इंटरेस्टेड इन नॉन फिक्शन राइट नाउ आई स्टार्टेड इवन वॉट यू सी दिस बुक द सटल आर्ट ऑफ गिविंग अफ दैट ऑल्सो आई लाइक द लॉर्ड सो I I I'll pick up novels what someone suggests me or maybe it is uh, you know shown on my Instagram or some ads someone recommends it to me so I'll pick up those novels and then I I just and now I try to finish it over the weekend itself but yeah initially it was ten days fifteen days and I used to just keep dragging a particular novel yeah so with your yeah, recent it. interest in nonfiction are we likely to see your next book as as a nonfiction genre or would you like to Uh, stick no, to poems, I or maybe giving fictional a shot. I would want to give fictional a shot because that is what had come to my mind when I had started, uh, you know, started building that thought of uh, releasing a novel. So whenever anyone asks me, or let's say, whenever I uh, think myself of a writer, I think it would be fictional, and I have a story that I am building. I'm like I'm. trying to build build that up you know very interestingly but as they say things happen when they have to happen so right. a non fiction i don't think so i think i will be going ahead with fiction itself fiction so so how as as a as a uh, author of poems how do you see uh, poems or poetry as a genre uh, vis a vis fiction and non fiction in terms of their popularity and in terms of not just popularity but in terms of the entire process because Uh, writing something is of course not an easy task, and it requires uh, you can say that that mindset, that that skill set. So, how do you see poetry vis-a-vis a -vis, uh, uh, fiction, for example? So, uh, see, when we talk about poetry or when we talk about fiction, non-fiction, I I feel the definitions have been changing, and the literature has evolved to. to such an extent that these days uh, even when you're talking about non fiction i'm reading the novel that i'm reading right now it's purely non fiction but then there are short excerpts which are stories and even in my poems when i was writing i i started them as fiction itself so i like i have that as some fictional story something which is which was there back of my mind or something which something an episode that had happened to me in the past so i'll pick it up as a fictional uh, fictional story but then to give it a meaning to add my views to it to add a moral out of it or let's say just just to you know deliver a message which which does not come with fiction so non fiction comes to it so when we talk about or let's say if you ask me about what poems are i have read poems where it is totally non fiction right in, even in my literature we used to have we mandatorily used to have poems which i'm like and it was not just the in the curriculum we used to have uh, competition even at the school and college level where we had to read particular books and not just books it was particularly poems because right. i was a part of my literary club as well and that is also that was also it, it for me it seemed to be a little boring i used to think probably there is not much audience to it or let's say maybe very learned people or very yeah. intellectual folks come yes. to this sort of genre and that was sort of what job. i right. used to think But nowadays, I've seen literature is not just about you know you cannot have a, a distinction about fiction and non-fiction. Even yes. in fiction, when a person is writing a story, or let's say even when someone is describing a particular story, so he will either go to the past of it or the future of yes. it or what we could think about it. So I feel there is a there is a gray area between fiction and non-fiction that is what my favorite part is i i try to pick up that i will have fiction and non-fiction and uh, you know a little concoction of both the both the genres is something that i will i i feel that that is where is my strongest point i'll write something or i'll have something you know written for myself and i'll add an emotional touch or maybe a moral touch to it right so as as you can see in the book after every poem there is a, a sort of a brief you can say discussion or explanation uh, you know wow. about what the the poem is so how, how did that idea came about did you think about it or the publisher suggested you how did, how did that happen so um, i got only 21 days and that also it was something that never came to my mind it, it, it just happened so when i was uh, not proof reading i was just trying to read whether the uh, poem the sequence of poems are making any sense or not so that time it just 
I just wrote it for two or three uh, poems. All right, and then just suddenly the idea struck to me: Why not if I write a paragraph or something? And which was uh, obviously an additional effort. Yeah. It took me a lot of time because uh, for me, I had written all the poems. But worth me, and I thought, why not? Let's you know write two or three lines about it, or let's let. Uh, it was probably due to one particular poem. It was uh, one poem which I felt maybe people might not relate to it, or people. Uh, I, that was a language poem, so it was basically language of love or language of food. So I thought I would want to tell people where I am coming from. And that is how I wrote about one. And then I thought, even this requires a little, you know, paragraph or little lines about it. And that is, it, it was just accident. I was proofreading just one of the poem, and I yeah. thought to give it a meaning. And then idea struck: why not have it after each poem? And that was obviously right. something that I did just at the last moment. I I do not know, like. Uh, I mean, I did not intend to write that from very start, right. but when I was reading everything, whatever came to my mind, I just very quickly. This is what I actually think. This is the idea behind the poem, so I kind of jotted it down and have had that in the end towards the end of every poem. Right, and so as as a first time author, you you got a chance to work with Bukhi, but do you see or did you face any kind of challenges in you know approaching publishers, getting your books published? Uh, especially if something like poetry which is i would say uh, compared to fiction or non fiction may have uh, less audience at times did you see any challenges in approaching publishers yeah um, uh, see i will i will be very honest and candid about this i did not try very uh, you know with with 100% of my effort and time i did not try that initially but i had a collection of poems which in my uh, third year of like when i was uh, working with the companies so that time i had uh, a little bit of leisure time and i had written down written down those poems i do not think that now but i'll just tell you the story behind it yeah. so i had written down those poems and i went to quite few people who are into this particular uh, you know writing stuff and right. asking them to just proofread uh, my poems so that i can get them published that itself was a challenge i might have sent those to 15 to 20 people and i hardly got any response and that is the time you know when i kind of left writing for a little while i was like no one reads it no one reads poems it's, right. it's always about uh, you know stories that you have it's always about yeah. uh, an incident that would one you want to hear and even now when i have written my poems i have many friends who are into reading but they will not pick up this just because they're saying oh let it turn into a movie and they uh, read it so I was yeah like, Yeah, there was some network issue. So all right, all right. Yeah, can you just repeat for the last thirty seconds what you said? Yeah, what I was saying is, even now I I feel that uh, story uh, poems is not something which people you know tend to read. But uh, yeah. there is the other side also of it. I have few of uh, you know some of the people who have just given me this particular uh, feedback. that since it was poems and since it was all relatable i could just finish the book in one go otherwise had yeah. it be fiction or had it been stories people generally tend to read something today then leave something for tomorrow or maybe yeah. later on they tend to read it in pieces but since it was something because there was no relevance between first and second it's not concluding so people had it you know once after a while right so so that is something i think genres the people's preference also keeps changing so like Uh, non fiction for example there was a time it was not much popular and now we are seeing a lot of non fiction books uh, even indian authors uh, there was a time it wasn't much popular like last couple of decades uh, i would say the last one or two decades only that indian writing has you know uh, emerged again within it india and we were also more for the reading foreign authors but i think that is something which keeps on you know uh, changing with 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 time so uh, All right. So, uh, as you talked about, you probably write a fiction. So, any particular book or any particular idea in mind on which you would have started working? What do you plan to write next? Yeah, there is something. It's it's totally fictional story, but mm -hmm. uh, I would not want to reveal it because I myself have not finished writing it to the yeah. you know to the very end. But I am really excited about it because it's something. It's it's about a popular, uh, let's say, a concept or something which which. Which is very widely known. So I feel 
probably that is something people might like but since i've not finished it since i do not think that it's coming in next two or three months i do not mm-hmm. want to talk about it because i want to give it my best shot i have right. and it's just to give you an insight i just writing it like maybe 15 days before and that is you know when i start generally what happens with me whatever i will write whatever i have in my mind and if i start writing there are hundred other thoughts that will come of course on the spot and then I, you know i'll try to add them maybe i'll just change the starting maybe i'll i'll add a different angle to it and then when i was writing about this i realized oh this this is going to turn you know very surprising or people might like it i can be wrong i can be totally wrong about it i do not know but let's see i like i'm planning to finish this by the year end and maybe next year onwards or I, as i have already said things happen uh, at the best time when they're supposed to happen not right. when i plan them or not when we plan them so let's see how it right. goes okay and so i'll move back to what i discussed at the beginning palak is an it as it is in the at the back of your book palak go an it expert by profession and a writer by choice so so this this dilemma of many people they do something for a living but if given a chance or a choice they would like to do something else uh, perhaps or even on a full time basis so how do you uh, you know see see this thing do we do what we really want to do with our lives our choices are so different will, or how, how do you feel yeah yeah so i will tell you so you know while growing up i was you know uh, i had read uh, stories or maybe incidents when people you know generally describe that you should do what your heart what is driven by your heart and i was like oh i don't have any such thing and i used to ask myself what is something that i would like to do if i'm not doing particular job that i'm doing right now and i really did not have any answers i would tell you very honestly sometimes i even felt that uh, this is something i will just be doing the whole of my life and just like that i'll be a common person even now i'm a common person what i'm trying to tell you is i will just do whatever is uh, coming to me and then right. i uh, i i gave one of an exams where as a part of curriculum uh, we are you know on the spot we'll be given a topic and we want we are asked to write that so and we'll be judged on that So while practice, I'm sorry for but again the voice broke a little. So if you can just repeat the answer once, your voice broke right. again. Yeah. Ah uh, no, I guess this is a network issue. Okay, can you? Uh, okay, I'm not sure what. Now I, I guess it's better. End? All right. No, I guess I it's better you, now. Uh, all right okay 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 yeah i can like from my side it's quite clear i can hear you properly probably there might be some issue i i i can uh, you know understand so what i was saying is uh, uh, yeah so i started writing basically because it was part of curr- curriculum so when i was giving that exam uh, it was one yeah. one and a half month to you know prepare and that during that preparation time i wrote quite many articles which my friends uh, you know liked a lot so it was at that particular time then i thought oh it, it comes to me naturally i don't have to put extra effort to it i i i don't right. have to you know uh, go into go on to google or find some few words or i right. don't have to polish it i don't have to spend extra you know my time and energy on it and that is and that is the exact time when uh, you know formal writing started then i took a little course on you know uh, online courses on how to uh, do polished writing so then even i i like i did a few assignments on content writing blog writing also came into the scene i wrote for a various culinary uh, websites even i wrote about you know okay. uh, uh, what do you say uh, a technical writing which i was not very well okay. versed in but then yeah. you know writing kept happening one after one after another few things happened so that was right. the time when i knew this is something which i love to do i don't have to spend extra effort i don't have to you know think right. twice thrice whatever comes to me i'll write it it makes sense great it does not make sense even good which is even better because uh, maybe i'll i'll try to you know modify it the next time i'll try to uh, write it properly maybe next time and that is how you know uh, street by street and you know city by city i i shifted to few places and when you shift to a new city you tend to have so many different subjects around yourself and that is when you write so it was all majorly it's now about you know the instagram blog and there is a wordpress site that i write upon not very frequently but maybe once in a week or something like that and yeah, yeah then the book happened great 
so coming back to your book or 21 poems which one is your favorite i understand for a writer all her his or her work is is great and best but which one is your fav- favorite you have to choose one out of these 21 uh not really i'm just you know opening my book to see which yeah. one i could say could be my favorite but uh, there there are quite many things that i would say i i like grays uh, a lot you know that is that is something that i i thought i have been thinking for quite a while i like that them a lot this is something and then in a little thing is something that i like a lot but the favorite one would always be the yeah then a uh, poem in the, in the book that one is my favorite right So I think yeah, I have to say, Grace is something. I again, I like the poems, but Grace is something even I liked a lot. And uh, even the very first uh, line, if you see that, that does speak something. I think we lost Palak again. So, so I have added her back. She will be back soon. Yeah, she's there. All right. Yeah. Yeah. So I was saying that Palak, even Grace. Uh, of course, all your poems are great in their own right, but. Grace is something even I liked a lot, and you know, the first line it says speaks a lot about my life. I believe that choices are important, and they they make you the person you are, uh, or break the person you were. How important in that context? How important would you say, as someone as you are written on choices? Uh, choice. How important are our choices, and do we actually make all our choices ourselves? uh so very recently you know i and one of my friend we were discussing on this point that whatever happens happens for a reason and you know then we started saying oh is it is it like that but we are told that whatever is whatever happens is already destined so how come you say that uh, you yeah. know it happens for a reason or let's yeah. say god has already decided for you or you put in your karma and then you get it back so we were having all those sort of discussions and that also that particular time also i realized it's it's maybe some things are destined maybe some things are bound to happen but what we do on those choices it's it's very simple you know while writing a book i had two choices one was something let's just give it a try and second thing was why not give it a try let's see whatever happens we'll figure it right. out later so everything that i feel you 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 generally even if you talk about like i'm reading subconscious mind these days so everything you know your positive mind your negative mind it tends to tell you this happens yeah. why do you want to do it it will not result into x y z thing or it will not be as great as you wanted and and the second mind always tells you what if you do it we we'll see it later on we we'll figure it out later on and right. these days i feel or let's say from quite a while now i have feel why not give it a try we'll see what happens we'll see how good or bad it turns out for me but let let give it so i mean everything ends up with a choice and uh, while i say this it it, it might sound very positive or it might sound you know very uh, intellectual while say this but i have seen i have taken very bad choices or just because you know i was not ready to speak up i was not ready to give something a chance i was not ready for one particular episode in my in my life i have been messing on things i have been you know i i have been on the side where i know that this is because of something i chose right. so i feel everything is about choices and uh, why why like i like about my poem grazes because Uh, you say you have chosen this and this is why that is why something happened but there is another right. something which is alignment of what god's plan plans yes. for you yes. so let's say even if you choose if you even if you are very positive about it and you choose something but the alignment if it is not there or it does not happen that right at right point or if it's something is what you have thought does not happen or does not align right. the way that you had anticipated and so you 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 cannot just say it's it's either zero or one there there is a middle ground to it there there is something which you can say like uh, i always feel you you just can't you know describe things especially when you talk about right. emotions thoughts or actions or what yes. we have been doing especially this age the age where you know at least i am in i feel there are many things which which are you know which generally are uh, have to happen because maybe someone is telling something is our gut feeling is telling something as the results right. what you anticipate are different so there there are so many things you know that uh, you know, that basically uh, you know they affect your choices so i feel there right. i i tend to happen i tend to sit on the fence many a time so i am not this i am not that 
I sit on the fence. I can be this. I can be that at many times. So I feel I am something. I am someone who is basically, you know, uh, between those grey lines. Okay. So coming to the point again on your book, it's today. So first book and about the author, it says, "But like IT expert, professional writer by choice." So. What do you you see say five years down the line would it still say IT expert by profession or writer by choice or Palak Gogia is is an author or a writer that that that's her introduction. How do you see uh, writing for you in the next couple of years? Say four four well, five years time. Well, 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 well. That's something I will see. I will leave it to five year. You know, five year down the line, Palak would answer. She will figure it out. Whatever is best for yeah. her, she will do it at that particular point of time. But as for now, I will keep it something which I just do side by side because that is what you know gives me a sense of uh, belongingness to let's say it it keeps me grounded. So I feel that is something I will be doing side by side. I will not leave it, but making it a uh, you know full time career choice or making it a profession altogether, I am not really very sure because I feel if you if you do something uh, you know. As someone very, you know, very Lanet told it to me, whatever you are good at, don't do it for free. Yeah. At that particular time, also, I thought, no, I, I do not think that is that is something that I would want to believe. I want to do it because it gives me happiness. happiness. Maybe tomorrow, who knows? I, I am not very, I will not be very good at it. I even suck at right. writing. I, I could be, you know, someone. So I feel I'll just keep it as a part-time thing, or maybe something which. I would want to do with my hundred percent effort, and that generally does not happen when you do it on daily basis. I would want to right. do maybe one hour a day, two hour a day, right. but I don't see that happening as a full time thing. So, uh, so, just just one question, and uh, after which we will be, you know, uh, opening it up for the audience for any questions. So, as someone who has published your first book in, in of poems, which is I would say uh, uh, le- less common, it's I would say unusual path for any writer. It's a bit. Courageous path for a writer because, as if it's in terms of popularity, it's fiction, or I would say, pulp fiction is gets sold more. So, what advice of if any for any budding writer or any budding poet? See, uh, you know, we are. Uh, I think when we have so much of uh, diversity in terms of the art that is coming up, there is yeah. initially it was introduced to literature. Sure, I was basically told maybe plays or just stories is something that people want to read at yeah. read about. But now I've seen there is diversity in terms of choice. People even have started, yes. you know, uh, collecting books which are just short stories, which are just quotes, yeah. which are just you know, uh, 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 doodle writing. There are there are columns, yes. special columns even in the newspaper, which is just you know two characters talking, and they have yeah. taken so much of uh, you know space in the art today. So yeah. I feel whosoever is the budding author, there is nothing. There is there is you know no limit to anything. Size right. the limit. So whatever you feel you are good at, whatever you feel you can relate to, and you think you are good at, it's not just about good at. You can always say in in it in some way that you feel you can feel uh, that you are true when you are talking or writing or creating any kind of art. Right. You should always jump onto this, and you should never. Yes. There there is all there will always be two kind of people who might not like it, who might like it. Yes. So just write it for yourself. Obviously, down the lane you will find like-minded people. You will. I'll tell you even about my book. I was not very sure how many people would like it or not. And I have friends who have no connection with non-fiction who do not generally read about this. And they have come up to me and said that yeah, I could. We could relate with them. Write more about it. Right. Write something similar to this. So I feel down the lane everyone will find their way. And everyone, if they're writing it with utmost sincerity and something that they feel. Uh, very uh, relatable to. Right. It will end up in good results. Of course, that's that's definitely some very useful piece of advice, I must say. So, guys, we are opening up for the audience. So, any questions if you have, please write in the comment box, and uh, Palak will answer your questions. Let me see if there is any question right till now. So, guys, all those who are watching, it's your platform now for the next couple of minutes. So, any questions for Palak, please ask. And luckily, my network is also, you know, working fine. <laughs> Not yeah. disrupting now. So, probably oh, no, we have any questions. Yeah. 
So just let me scroll through the list if there's any question. Okay, this is metal. This is what I wrote. Okay, so this question for uh, from Vibhor B. Shrivastha. When we are getting signed copy from you, and when is your next work committing coming up? I think. All right. So signed copy you will be getting whenever we are meeting next. And the next work I just discussed. Something is there in progress. Some and many things are there in pipeline. So I am also not really sure. But I've given myself a target. Probably the new year, the new book. Let's see how it goes. Next year. And as you mentioned during the session, you are writing a book of fiction. It will be a novel. This from... would be a fiction. Yes. Yeah. That that's what uh, I plan to complete it by this year. Let's see how it goes. Okay. Uh, sometimes I am also very self-critical. I write it with hundred percent of enthusiasm, but when I proofread it, I don't like it and I just dump it. So let's see. Oh, okay. Goes. Okay, great. So, guys, any other questions? Uh, please, please write, and Palak will answer that. So let me check if there's any more questions. Okay, so no more questions. I think then we can call it a day. And. Uh, so guys all those who have joined thank you very much for joining us and palak thanks a lot for sparing time and uh, having our discussion at kitabi baatein and uh, oh, okay there is there is a question cool do you feel a difference in people who are readers and uh, usual kind of people around you who belong to it that that's quite an interesting one i am actually not seeing this question but or can you just repeat it for me once again sure it's like It's from the one not seat. It's do you feel a difference in people who are readers and the usual kind of people around you who are in IT? Well, I will just very honestly say people around in IT tend to read even tend to read novels even a lot more. So they they these days it's just a competition to have a different hobby other than what you are regularly doing. So I don't think so. There is much difference. Moreover, I am. Majorly, uh, you know, people around me are majorly into IT. That's what I feel. In fact, a lot of my friends and a yeah. lot of my cousins as well. They are somehow remotely related to IT. I would say. So I don't think so. There is much of a difference. Even the people who are not or who are outside part of IT. I have a few cousins. So they also, I feel, it's just about how how much aligned do you feel in terms of reading. If if at all you are into IT, irrespective of what profession you are in. If you are into reading, into writing, you will definitely, you know, you you will start at some point of time. So I don't think so. People in IT or people outside IT have a different set of, you know, set of feeling or let's say, I mean, a relevance towards reading. I generally don't think that's an option. Great. Okay. There's there's it's not a question. It's uh, it's some Punjabi girl diaries. And it says not a question, but I want to say, Pallav, you should write more. We love your writings. Love from UK. Thanks, thanks a lot. Yeah, you, I I generally am you know told by a lot of my friends to make it you know something which happens on daily basis. Yeah. But somehow maybe I I I I, I just tend to write when I am you know when I'm thinking about it. I cannot write. Yeah. Like I cannot take a pen and write about anything and everything. So of something course, which course. comes to my mind and I deeply feel about it, uh, feel about it, I write. But yeah, thanks a lot, um, Priyanka. I will definitely give it a try, and I'll start writing more. Great. And there is another comment from Singla underscore Akanksha. Uh, awesome job. Looking for more work from you. Uh, of course, I guess all those who have read your book would definitely say this. Looking for more work from yes. you. Thank you, Akanksha. Yes. That shall happen soon. Let's see. Great. So I think yeah, we can again we can call it a day now, guys. Thank you very much for uh, joining us today, and Palak, thanks for uh, you know sparing time for Kitabi Baate, and all the best for your book for the or for the upcoming books as well. Thanks, thanks a lot, Abhishek, and I would just want to say it again. Thanks a lot for yeah. giving me this platform. So it thanks. is kind of a dream come true. <laughs> what Great. what I would do just out of you know. Sheer curiosity is something that is happening with me today. So thanks okay. a lot. Yeah, there's one It closing nice comment. Story. Sorry for that. Surely poems from A Kanika Seven. Surely poems are more harder than the other work. Good luck. Of course, something I completely agree with. It writing it is a lot more harder than other work. So definitely. All right. 
Thank you, Balak. Thank All you. right. Thanks a lot. Have a great day. Thank you, everyone. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.